Hello everybody and welcome to a tutorial. Uh, I've been asked by quite a few people now how to install MC Edit and how to install and use the various filters. Now I'm not an expert on this. Um, I know the basics but I often have problems myself and I often have to ask the creators of the filters for a bit of help. Um, but it is a invaluable tool especially if you're trying to work on something in a Minecraft snapshot um, where you obviously can't use bucket plugins and stuff to help you out um, or if you want to do things in single player it's quite useful as well um, so first thing you want to do is go to mcedit.net uh, this is where you can download the program and we'll just do that now so let's have a look where's the download? release build 0.1.6 windows edition MC edit well, 0.1.6. I've got 64 bit windows, I believe. So I'm downloading that now. Okay. So once we've downloaded this, we should be able to unzip it. And I believe that'll either be an install or probably more likely the whole thing. Um, I already have it installed but on my external drive, so I'm not going to be using this one. I'm going to delete it after the tutorial, probably. Unless it's better somehow, I don't know. I doubt it would be. So here we go. Okay, show in folder. So with MC Edit, you can pretty much edit anything you like uh, if you've got a filter for it because it includes NBT changing stuff um, and it's better than World Edit um, in case you're about to say that it's not. I'm going to go to my files, I'm going to make a new folder called MC Edit just for it. Okay, so we're going to make a new folder. And why is my computer lagging? I'm just gonna have to speed up these bits, I suppose. MC Edit and click on that. And paste there. Okay, so we're gonna extract to MC Edit 0.1.6 Win AMD64. Hopefully. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. That's it. That's literally it. That is it. So Here's the program itself, and here is the app data for it. So this gives you all the code and stuff. So don't mess with the code. Um, I suppose you could mess with that stuff if you wanted to. I'm not really sure why you'd want to do that. Um, fonts could technically do that. Now you go to filters, and you'll notice actually I think that it looks like Code Warrior has teamed up with Seth Bling recently because most of these are Seth Bling's filters. They look like they've been built in recently. Um, but yeah, what we're going to do now is we're going to go on to my three favourite makers. So first of all, obviously, sethbling.com. You go to downloads, you go to MC Edit filters. Uh, which one should we have? We'll try... Oh, I don't know. How about... Hmm. This one. Well, anyway, that's where you can download these, and I think because it gives you .py, you have to right-click and do save link as. Um, for a bright mores framination filter, you can just download mod. Um, just left-click that on uh, planetminecraft.com, a bright mores page, um, and that will download the zip. So we'll download that one. Um, and we'll also download one of Texelaus filters, we'll get the unified spawner filter. No, actually that's a bit of a big one. The thing about these is that they're a bit big for my laptop screen. Um, how about the... Hmm. Get the tile tick filter and play with that one much. Okay, so now we have tile tick filter and framination. Okay, oh shit, I've just opened it. Oh dear. Cancel. That's going to be the bloopers. <laughs> bloopers of tutorials, what a brilliant idea. So many videos to be made. And then we have Framation V6 here. Is that the right one? It is the right one. Good. Okay, so we're going to get Tile Tick Filter and Framination V6. I'm going to cut and go back to MC Edit, which is here. Hang on, I, read, I have two open, do I? Ah, oh, that's my other version, that is. Yes, that's my proper version of MC Edit. Right, so now we're going to go into the filters page, which we found from 
from our MC edit folder we went here and then we went onto the app data thingamajig oh dear and then we went to filters and now we're going to paste <coughs> so where's tail tick? tail tick's already jumped in there somewhere there it is okay now framination we're going to extract to extract here I think I'll probably do yep there it is and it gives you schematic as well because that's what we included with it but we don't need that very much to be honest so what should we do with this now is the question we double click to start up MC Edit. We now have MC Edit 1.6 running. Okay. Um, no, I'm okay. So, what I'm going to try to do now is I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to open a level from my multi MC data, which I'm also going to do a tutorial on. Um, so, my multi MC data is on my desktop here. And I'm using the snapshot one. I'm going to use the one called snapshot because I got my little animation things in there. Level dot dat. So you click on. And here we are. Now, uh, this version of MC Edit is for 1.4.6. So any new blocks, such as these are the quartz and redstone blocks, I think, um, they're not really going to work so well. Command block show up. Uh, obsidian, obviously, trees and all that. Um, so, we can now use the filters. So, to use a filter, you have to select an area first, okay? So, um, here we have a mob. We shall select this mob. Now, I could use the giant's filter on it, but you guys have seen my giant's video. Hopefully, if you haven't, go watch it. I'll explain how to make giants with MC Edit. This is just the real basics if people don't know how to do this. Um, so we get a filter. Potion effect to mobs. Um, okay, so we'll like, give it... Oh, I don't know. How about... Jump boost. Level... 9. Filter. There we go. So this is Seth Brings Filter. And we'll add another one as well. We'll add... Um, Resistance, level 9, filter, and uh, I don't know what else. Um, instant health, is there such a thing? Where's instant health? No, no one there, is it? Hmm. Regen. That should do. And that only gives you for 60 seconds, so that's, that's not much good. Okay, so if we make. So with MC Edit built in, you have stuff that can uh, make gravel, and you know you can you can make a big block of stuff. Okay, so we can uh, how do we do now? Fill and replace. Okay, so we fill this with actually no, hang on. Okay, hang on. let's change this a bit actually. Um, if we make this in the A, okay, I'm gonna fill that with. Uh, sand. Okay, so sand, just type in that. Sand, there we go. Fill. So now that is sand, it's unupdated. So when we go into the game, that'll just be a big block of sand. So if we have to break that, it would fall. But we're not going to do that. First, we're going to filter, and we're going to do the tile tick filter. So I've never played with this before, so deal. Bear with me a sec, okay? And I imagine. This should work quite cool. Oh, so this one you don't update it, you just wait. Now, the way this works is if you're in an unloaded chunk, it won't go. Okay, it's the same with the 36 of fire filter, I think. We'll do a complete one row and one layer at a time. So it's going to go in a very, very, um, it's going to be like, it'll look very nice. Okay. Takes until start 200. I don't know, I'm not sure that's enough. 1000, should we say? And um, we'll have to move the player so he's right here so we can see it as soon as we spawn in. Ticks between each block. Um, make it 5. Ticks in rows, because I'm not sure these are redstone ticks. I think they're different ticks to redstone ticks. Maximum random tick range. I have no idea about all this stuff. Block filtering options. Okay, whatever. Filter. 
and that should do it. Okay. So um, obviously we can. Oh, oh dear, I just got a. Oh, somebody's got a virus. Oh dear. Uh, anyways, so we got all these things set biome. Obviously, this is the old. I think this is one of. This is pretty much where MC Edit filters started. Now this one has a bit of a problem, so what we can do is select chunks. That's better. Set biome filter. Oh, that didn't work. Never mind then. Okay, and that's pretty much it. So we're gonna head into Minecraft now and see how that works. You've got to do Control and S to save, and then do Control and W to close, or just press close. So we don't actually have to quit Minecraft nowadays. And here's Multi MC. So I'm not gonna record special. I'm just gonna record my screen as I have been doing. This is gonna be a bit laggy, but it should be okay. Now I should turn this Skype thing off. Uh, anyone want a free Minecraft gift code? Maybe. <laughs> of course you want a free Minecraft gift code. Who wouldn't? You know? Okay, so that's not... I don't want to go on my server. I want to go on Snapshot. Okay. So in Snapshot, we will now have... Some cool stuff. And it's going to be over here. Where is it? It should be over here somewhere. Oh my god, the wrong way. Not the right way. Good, good. Just in this direction, please be the right direction. I got the wrong way. I'm an idiot, sorry guys. And I'm still getting Skyped. I should have turned it off, but I didn't. This doesn't work, I'm just gonna have to do it again. Off screen or whatever. Okay, now this is the thing I was gonna turn to an animation that hasn't worked yet. Here we are. Right, now we wait. Because now the chunk is loaded. Now we wait. Now, whilst the tile ticks are on these, uh, Punching them will not update them at all. You can break them, but they won't make the others fall. Now, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So this is a filter made by Texelow. The dodgy Franimation filter is inspired by Sralam Vids, who made the first 3D animation in Minecraft better than Seth Blinders, by the way. Um, and was actually made by A. Bright Moore. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I just play with my blocks. Yeah. <laughs> hey, like I said, you can put stuff in there, and it, it won't make much difference. If I put some blocks under here, then it's just gonna fall onto them, or not fall at all, I suppose. In some cases, it's a block. But yeah, as you can see, that is how it works. And it's pretty cool. MC Edit. Um, there's a lot of things you can do with it that you couldn't do in anything that doesn't freeze the game because it does it outside of the game. I should probably stay still because I'm recording it's like 20 FPS or something. Um, so, yeah, it's a really useful tool. Download it at mcedit.net and then you can get filters from sethbring.com, um, elements at elamancer.com slash filters dot html and a brightmore planet minecraft um, he also has the same reddit twitter and youtube accounts so you can find them there as well i'll link them all in the description and if you need any further clarification i'll be happy to address them in the comments and if the tutorial has been useful to you please consider uh, liking subscribing um, and whatnot. And by the way, don't forget to say thanks to Cold Warrior for making the thing in the first place because obviously without him none of this would be possible at all. Oh dear, I just got sudden lag spike. Um, yeah, so see you all next time, everybody. And if you want more tutorials or you need more help, don't forget to ask. Bye.